Hi Leo, Power Online Tarot coming at you with a reading. And this is going to be what are their true intentions in love, Leo. This is what this is about. And these energies could be that of your person's or yours. They could You could switch the whole reading around. Please feel free to do that, right? I hope you guys are all well in case I didn't say that. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and your person, all right? Let's get one more shuffle. And let's pull a couple cards from the Enchanted Map Oracle. All right, let's see how much enchantment we can gain. <laughs> see what we got, you guys. Hope you guys are doing I'm just peachy with what's going on. And <clears throat> that is if you know what's going on. Ride the wave, you guys. And deep freeze. All right, and flying. Okay, ride the wave is basically, uh, I, feel, I feel like it means like ride the wave and kind of go with it. Enjoy with Enjoy whatever is kind of, you know, in your midst. Let's have a look at it. Right now, success is easy and effortless. Yes, ride the wave and kind of go with the flow. Success is yours, Leo. This could be your person. I hope I didn't say Aries. This could be uh, your person, right? Yeah. And <clears throat> Deep Freeze talks about things that are just kind of, uh, sometimes you can talk about taking a break and like freezing things, right? Let's see have a look at this and here we are everything has its season now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest so right away somebody is having success here right or success is ever effortless <clears throat> maybe there's some waiting involved in that but the deep freeze is like uh, kind of just chilling out here and kind of waiting for the right time to do things Flying, flying is kind of like, you know, you're able to do whatever it is that you really want. And I believe it is seeing things from a higher perspective, right? Interestingly enough, we can never uh, do anything without seeing things from a higher perspective. Yeah, every time you have maybe come across some success in your life or anything like that, if you are not looking at things from a higher perspective, you're not going to achieve them. You can't manifest. It's just how it is. That's kind of a long discussion already. You have the power to see things from a higher perspective. Yes. Okay. So, <coughs> yeah, you have the power to do that. And it's saying to go ahead and ride the wave, right? But for some reason, there's something that is like the timing is off here with the deep freeze. I feel like this is about both of you guys. If somebody is riding the wave for success, right? And you have everything you need to do with flying, but deep freeze. Somebody else is kind of being put on hold here. Or another situation, maybe, huh? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we have for Leo's person. And where are these cards at? I just shuffled. Yeah, here they are. Bottom of the deck, Leo, is the Ten of Wands. Something's really a heavy load here. It could be for the person who is experiencing a deep freeze or kind of who is advised to do that. Right now, your energy, Leo, Page of Pentacles, the Tower, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So this is your energy. Your person is in the justice. Uh, hopefully, they're not in jail over here. <laughs> but justice is like, you know, there could be a Libra here for sure, right? But maybe they are <clears throat> dealing with legalities. Let's have a look, though. I feel like they're probably a Libra. And the Devil card, Capricorn, possibly showing up. The Tower over here in your energy, Leo. Could be a Scorpio. I feel like you're in the Tower it's by some, on some level. or by, yeah. And the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. It could be a Sagittarian in the mix. All right? It could be. Let's have a look here and see why the, the page, beg your pardon, of Pentacles is there. So this is your, your current... Uh, energy yeah you have a new beginning or you want one for sure okay the hermit maybe you're dealing with a virgo three of cups if you're not dealing with a virgo you're trying to figure out how to reunite with somebody yeah the cards could be telling you that you have all the power to do it right yeah go ahead and ride the wave success is effortless the tower card crossing you the eight of wands And the judgment card. <clears throat> wow. I feel like you're in the tower regarding change and a decision. And this decision or judgment, right, could be possibly a reuniting with somebody from your past. It could be. 
Because judgment can talk about past life uh, relationships and bringing them back sometimes could just been last year, maybe a couple months ago, right? But judgment can also speak to a spiritual awakening. Yeah, it can. I feel like it's talking about a reunion here with somebody. That's what I feel with the Three of Cups here. And the Strength card. This is you, Leo. Mm -hmm. King of Wands, here you are again. Unless that's the Sag here. Here's the Ten of Wands right here. So you're carrying a burden here. I feel like this is about somebody else having a union or like joining forces with somebody else, right? Somebody that you could be in love with. And the Knight of Swords is in the root. Mm -hmm. And this is <coughs> your root, right? <laughs> Hopefully we're not talking about your hair, right? Your roots, because nobody could get their hair done hardly, right? It's part of their mandatory BS, mm -hmm. even though it's like a flu. Okay, guys, got to question yourself on that, all right? Okay, Knight of Cups, full card. So over here, you guys, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that it's not real. I'm not saying that some people were not sick. That is not what I'm saying. Because some people are going to take this out of context. Yeah, they are. So let's see here in the root door, right? Let's keep to the reading. Uh, the Knight of Swords, you guys, with the, with the Knight of Cups and the Fool card, there really could be a, a Libra here for sure. But I feel like what you are doing is trying to stop something, or you would like to. I feel like you're, that you're feeling really restless here. If you are not trying to stop a situation, cut a situation out, then Leo, you're in the tower because you're making a hard choice to go do it with somebody else. It's that simple. These are general rules, yeah. and this is kind of how they go. Yeah, they kind of yeah. go like that, where sometimes it is not clear uh, who's getting left and who's, yeah, something like that, or who's doing the leaving. Uh, we're going to put the Five of Pentacles here. This is being left, somebody being, somebody being left out, right? And to take a leap of faith. So somebody's being left out here because somebody wants to be with somebody else. It's that simple, right? There could be an Aries in the mix. And one more card for the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> for some reason, I feel compelled. Nine of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you have suspicions here that somebody else, yeah, this could be maybe why you're in the Virgo, in the Hermit energy, really uh, soul-searching, right? Page of Wands is, is what you want. It's in the reverse. <laughs> so the Page of Wands in the reverse, uh, Leo, I'm not laughing at you, Leo. I'm kind of laughing with you, kind of, so to speak, okay? I don't, I'm not laughing at anybody in case you were dealing with heartbreak or so, because I know you're dealing with some type of a situation here for sure, the Tower card here. And the Ten of Wands, right? Yeah. So what you want, though, you could be like trying to avoid change. Like I don't want to, I don't want to break up. Possibly. Why is that Page of Wands there? And this can talk about you wanting to walk your own path, but you need some more information over here, possibly with the uh, Hermit card. Yeah, you do need more information, Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. So what you want is. You want to figure a situation out. You want to know if you should walk away or if someone's walking away from you. Pretty sure here. You could be trying to find out if there's sabotage going on, right? Sabotage within your own reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, your own situation. And the Justice card, you could be in chaos and conflict. You definitely could, too. Five of Swords with the Tower and the Ten of Wands. These two cards can, you know, talk about uh, dilemmas right there. Or burdens, rather. Okay. Why is that justice there? I'm going to take this card because it tried to jump ship. Maybe there's a Virgo here or a Capricorn or even a Taurus. But this person could, it could be a Libra or, or an Earth sign. Why is the King of Pentacles there? <coughs> Please. Star card. Wow. It could be an Aquarian here. Five of Wands. I feel like your person's trying to heal it with some third party here. King of Cups. Look at all these people here. <clears throat> wow, this could just be love. They could be struggling too, but I feel like this is more third-party energy for them. It's going to depend. Here they are down here on the Nine of Wands energy. You could be restless yourself, Leo. It's going to depend who <coughs> kind of... You could be restless about taking a leap of faith on somebody. And this page of wands in the reverse in your desired position, yes, it can talk about avoiding change. Excuse me, you guys.
It can talk about resisting change. But I feel like what it is, is you want to know if somebody's walking their own new path. I'm not really for sure if I said that. Walking their own path, like walking away. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Crossing your person is the devil. Okay, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio over here, Libra, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel like they're a Virgo in this reading. Mm -hmm. For some. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. The Devil, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> this is crossing your person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're thinking of becoming single. Either that or they're afraid to be single themselves. The Devil's here. I feel like they're an earth sign. Now, they could easily be a Capricorn uh, or a Virgo. I feel like they're making a decision to become single. That's what I think. You could be doing it, too. As I said, these are general readings. But it looks like they're making a decision to become single here. And you could be married to them, too, Leo. For some of you guys. Justice here. Mm-hmm. Let's see now, they're either analyzing about you becoming single or they're making a decision to do it themselves. I feel like they're making a decision to do it themselves. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this is why it's all happening. Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant, Temperance, yeah. You're, so your person could be a Sag, for some, we have a lot of Sagittarian energy right here, right? And this is why it's all happening for them. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse could be bad luck, it could be fate. It could be a faded situation that is like, uh, kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, hit them negatively. The Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Temperance card. This is, you know, why it's all happening for your person. I feel like they want to put the work in with somebody. It could be a Taurus in this reading as well. Let's get a card on Temperance. We see two cards of Sagittarius. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune this could talk about a healing situation as well. Why is that a Temperance card there? But I just don't feel like it is, not with uh, the Wheel of Fortune here. For some of you guys, there is a Sag in the mix. Seven of Cups, wow. Ten of Swords. For me, your person's making a really hard choice to end the situation and be with, uh, be with maybe an Earth sign, a Libra. It's going to depend. It could, be, it could be a Virgo. It could be a Fire sign, a Sag. They could possibly be confused. I'm not seeing it like that with the Seven of Cups. I think they want to go put the work in with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think you're carrying a burden here. Yeah, and you're in the tower. Right, Leo? I also think that Nine of Swords showing up here, right? I, but I do feel like this person, whoever they are, uh, you know, with their kind of, uh, you know, with their heart, I'm not going to say if it's a good one or not, <laughs> But my whole point about them that I feel like they have some kind of uh, heart, possibly, about walking away a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to say it's anything major. But the Nine of Wands, they are considering the situation. I kind of I feel like that. And this is what they want. They want the Nine of Wands. Nobody wants it, so let's see what this is about. <coughs> Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like they want this Two of Cups person. Yeah, I do. I feel like they want to have an equal uh, equal relationship with a third party here who could be kind of anybody. Mm -hmm. Could be any sign. The strong ones are a fire sign and, and an earth sign. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, there is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The King of Cups can show up as like can just talk about love, can talk about somebody handling their emotions well. Mm -hmm. Let's get a card on this Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Chariot card and the Ace of Cups. So over here, you guys, this is what they want. I feel like they want a new beginning, right, Ace of Cups. I feel like they do. But And we have been saying that, but I also feel like your person is like, they could be moving for some of you guys, you know, if your person is the one who wants somebody, it could still go either way, right? Over here, you could be thinking yourself, Leo, in your energy, if you want, like, if you can have, like, somebody you really want, if you can have the desire of your life. 
But with the Tower there and the Ten of Wands, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like it is about somebody else you're trying to, you're just, excuse me, <coughs> soul searching. <coughs> so the reading can go either way, you guys. But I feel like your person wants to ace of cups with somebody. I feel like they want to have victory. There could be a Cancerian here. I feel like they want, uh, they want, like, they want to share with somebody. This is third party energy, too. Two of cups showing up. This is what they want, but they start out as the nine of wands. And this is what I think. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could be, like, Wanting to be with somebody here, but they're not really trusting. We're going to find out on Vimeo. I want to know as myself. And we're going to talk about what you need to know about them. Yeah. And how they feel, the challenges or the blocks, what they're hiding and what they're fearing, and their true intentions. They're all super affordable. You can cross-watch uh, cross the extended, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.